There is growing outrage after a bill to help three and a half million veterans who were exposed to toxic military burn pits was blocked in the U.S. Senate. The bill would cost an estimated $180 billion over the first four years, expanding health care and disability coverage for nearly two dozen illnesses linked to toxic smoke, including respiratory problems and rare cancers. 41 Republican senators voted to stall the bill, raising concerns over how the money is budgeted, arguing it could be spent on programs unrelated to veterans in the future. They voted against the men and women who fight for this country that want to return back to civilian life and have a normal life. And not only those folks, but their families. Veterans groups are calling on Congress not to leave Washington until the legislation is passed. The next opportunity is Monday after another procedural vote. In that bill that was blocked included the Camp Lejeune Justice Act of 2022. It's meant to help service members and families who stayed at the camp or were exposed to contaminated water when Jacksonville woman says her husband died from leukemia. Trying to get the word out, trying to get some relief, trying to get some justice for what our families have gone through. The bill applies to veterans who served at the camp for at least 30 days between August 1st, 1953 and December 1st, 1987. Hundreds of thousands of service members drank the contaminated water and developed serious illnesses such as cancer and Parkinson's disease.